Hey what's up you amazing people, happy holidays and welcome back to a brand new day in Red Dead Online and it's been a couple of days since I've last posted but don't worry we came in just in time because today I'm going to show you an awesome location to farm both money and a ton of XP and we're doing this right now I'm going to even show you on the map exactly where we are and where we are heading so I'm here over in Strawberry because I was just giving it in my uh, fresh loot but we're going to head over to this small lake over here or river actually it's a river leading in a small pond that then goes down here nonetheless what we're going to do is base ourselves somewhere around this region as it holds a ton of fish I mean more than any other pond or lake or whatever else I've seen so far in the game and obviously you already see me with my weapon wagon here already prepared and my horse we're gonna bring that one on the venture with us in just a second so I'm just going to like go back a little bit like ding 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 nonetheless as I was saying you're most probably going to need a cart or a wagon if you want to do this properly because there's going to be a ton of fish in there specifically muskies which I believe sell for the highest amount of uh, money in the game right now it's seven dollars and seventy five cents per piece and it's like probably the most abundant fishing spot in the game right now it's filled with salmon it's filled with bass so if you want to farm XP using dynamite for example man you're gonna be in for a surprise I mean that's going to be a ton of it I'm going to show you literally everything that you need to know and yeah that's basically what I'm going to do tell me how was Christmas for you guys what did you guys get for Christmas did Santa bring you anything cool this year did he bring you just a bunch of coal but uh, I think we are actually at the spot right now I'm going to put this thing right here we're going to adjust it in just a second probably around that spot but let me just show you the insanity of this place right now and I'm not sure how many fish have spawned in this location because I haven't drawn my uh, my fishing rod yet but there's a ton of it that can spawn right around here though down there over where the cascade ends oh man look at that you already see the fish see that did you see that musky he just fell got uh, pulled into the river just like that look at him I don't even think I can catch it with this thing nope that one is pretty much gone but Look, look how many fall down. Look how many there are in here, dude. This is insane. But uh, just to go in over the fishing spot a little bit, because you're going to want to do some fishing here as well. And you're going to see how many, how many salmon begin spawning in this small area right here. And look at them. They're already like spawning. There's the musky over there. And there's going to be like way more in just a bit. From what I've seen during nighttime, it's even better. But you know, it's not really necessary for you to do it during nighttime. But I did see an increase in abundance of fish so the trick here is very simple we're going to grab 10 salmon then we would go for the muskies which are the bulk of uh, the money that we're about to make here and finally we are going to use some dynamite on the remaining fish just so we get a bit extra XP on the side and actually he spawned in so close I didn't even need to reel it in mmm look at this beautiful specimen so I'm going to put him down here now I know that many of you are big fans of the spinner you can attach to your uh, fishing rod and it's definitely a good way of uh, catching fish like all sorts of fish but that is also its biggest downside the fact that it can catch literally any fish the lures will attract only the big fish like the salmon the trout the ones that sell for big money it's definitely better and as you can see only the big fish are the ones that are catching on and that is exactly what I need I don't need the small fish I don't really care about those and you probably already noticed that in the time it took me to blow Labber all of this. I already caught a ton of fish. It doesn't take me more than a few seconds to catch literally any of the fish in here. Seriously. But it's actually so relaxing. It's fun for me. There's a lot of people who love doing this kind of stuff. There's a lot of people who appreciate it. You don't have to look at it as a form of like grinding or anything. Just do it once in a while. You don't have to repeat it 24-7. Just do it once in a while in between fighting session, in between PvP or missions. And you're never going to feel tired of doing anything. That is the the secret of all of this even though I've been playing this game since the very beginning and I've used fishing and hunting extensively both in single player and in the multiplayer it did not once even once become tiresome for me simply because I was doing it out of fun out of pleasure look at these fish one two three four in there five six seven eight damn there's there's like 
over a dozen fish in this location. I was also lucky enough that this place doesn't really hold too many people, like nobody comes near Strawberry, man. There's nothing to see here, it's boring. It's just out in the wild, nobody comes in this place except the fish that you want to hunt, except the big bears, the grizzlies who want to eat your face. Nobody else even cares about this place. If they're big fish, you don't have to reel them in. They are going to be there basically all of the time. And uh, as I've said, the cart is right here. All I need to do is go up a little bit and then I can put everything inside of it. The horse, luckily enough, doesn't move. Most of the time it doesn't move. And as long as you keep it here, it has no reasons to go anywhere else. So yeah, there you go. And bam right in just like that and I can pretty much resume fishing on the big guys as well okay I think this one is going to fall so I'm going to go down here and try to catch it yeah it's definitely going to fall look at that so you're gonna like have to alternate it between uh, the ones that fall and the ones that don't and there you go <laughs> right into my hands not really a bad deal not really a bad deal and that one over there is still minding its own business it should still have my fish inside of it remember that above six it's going to start uh, causing troubles so as long as you have like six muskies that should be more than enough you don't need more than that seriously six of them per turn and you're going to be able to transport them with ease. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna stay here for too long. I don't want to make this video for like too goddamn long. I'm going to go back to the town and I'm going to sell all of this fish. Now, as you can see, it can hold in quite nicely. You don't really have to like pay too much attention of it. It's not going to fall off of your cart as long as you're not doing anything too rash. Now, if you do want to maximize the profits off of this method, my suggestion is for you guys to use a friend. Have a friend over there come in and help you. You can stay downstream behind the waterfall and have your friend throw in a stick of dynamite, kill all the fish. In the meantime, you're downstream, you're going to be able to collect all of the fish that are coming in and it's a win-win situation. You will be earning the fish and of course with it money meanwhile your friend is going to earn a lot of XP by blowing fish up and I'm going to show that to you in just a second but let's first and foremost sell this thing to the butcher so I'm just going to unload them there you go and I'm going to throw this one as well let's see everybody's killing themselves Jesus so there you go nice and easy that's 33 and let's make it a 40 shall we Let's make it a 40. Horse is not okay. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. It's gonna it's gonna end soon. There you go. That is a nice he's trying to shoot me, isn't he? I hope he's not trying to shoot me. Okay, he shot me. Well, you know what? It doesn't really matter because I actually, you know, just sold everything that needs to be sold. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to spawn in, uh, let's say I'm going to spawn in Lemoyne. I'm going to grab a couple of dynamite sticks and I'm going to see you guys back here. Look how many there are, these pesky bastards. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to throw in a nice stick of dynamite. Let's see how many I kill. Oh yeah, that is nice. Both of them are dropping down really fast. I'm not really sure how many I've killed at the same time. I believe I've killed quite a few. Five fish at the same time. We can kill way more than that, as a matter of fact. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Two already there. Super filled. Oh my god, there's even more over there. Holy Jesus. Okay. I think I know what I need to do. I'm going to go in. Grab in some of my dynamite. I'm going to go here. And then I'm going to throw in some right around here. There you go. Oh, I just missed one. God damn it. They come in so fast, actually. I don't think I'm going to grab this one. Am I not? Yes, I am. <laughs> Got him. Only a one star, unfortunately. Oh, actually, you know what? I just killed 10 fish at the same time. So let's see if we can do like the 20 at the same time. That would be nice. I'm just gonna have to check out to see exactly how many are spawned and obviously there's a ton of them over here and I'm going to throw it right here in the middle and there you go that should do it and there's one already incoming I can even see it <laughs> yep and there you go right into your hands you don't need to do anything just place it on your horse 
I think that is it for now though. I think that is it. That is all the time we have for today's episode, guys. Again, if you want to do this properly, it's going to be much more helpful if you're doing it with a friend. I mean, look how many huge fish there are, dude. But it was still fun, guys. I had a lot of fun doing this thing. Go ahead and tell me how much were you able to fish? How much were you able to get? Did you use a friend? Did you went in alone? But that's all the time we have for today. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. A thumbs up would be super appreciated. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. And I'll see you guys next time, so peace out.